we have a massive coronal hole that's slamming Earth with some fast solar wind, and some new active regions are finally rotating onto the east limb and upping activity and giving ham radio operators something to smile about. Those stories are more in the news this week. The sun's activity is really picking up this week. You can see we have this massive coronal hole. It starts in the North Pole and it even comes all the way down, even past the equator. And this massive thing is going to give us some fast wind. It already has been buffeting Earth and it's been giving us some fast wind and it will continue to do so easily over the next couple days. Things are going to be a bit sporadic. We're probably not going to see a lot of aurora from this one, but it is going to up the amateur radio bands just a little bit, maybe help us some propagation. Plus, we have some new active regions that are rotating into Earth view and one of them has already fired off a solar storm. Not really headed toward Earth, though, but this activity is going to make everybody stand up and pay attention and hopefully give you amateur radio operators something to smile about. Switching to your MFLAR threat meter, you can see we've actually been pretty quiet. We did get a little activity starting around the 7th and 8th that then kind of popped up and gave us some C-class flares. This was mainly from region 2552 and a little bit from 2554. We even had a C-class flare back on the 11th that was actually was pretty eruptive. It was kind of beautiful, but it was already the region was already rotating off of the west limb. Since then, things have been quieting down and they will continue to do so. And with the new regions that are rotating onto the disk right now, our probably not going to give us too many flares, so you amateur radio operators don't expect to see any M-class activity anytime soon. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see actually back on the 5th we did have uh, the beginning of that solar storm that gave us some really gorgeous aurora. That lasted in through the 6th. Since then things have pretty much calmed down. We get a few pops here and there uh, just from some disturbances in the solar wind. Not really too much in terms of solar storms, but we did start getting this fast wind right here on the 15th and it did jump us up for a short while up to a uh, KP of 6. That actually gave us some serious uh, interruptions of, of amateur radio bands, but it didn't really do too much else. Things have calmed back down a little bit, and now we're kind of enjoying some northward field, which is actually improving the amateur radio bands, but it isn't giving us much aurora. Now switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are in the middle of that high speed wind, you know, from that huge coronal hole, and this is going to continue for the next few days. Well, ANOAA is giving us at high latitudes about a 50% chance of a major storm, uh, but at mid latitudes, maybe about a 20% chance of a minor storm. Now, again, we're not seeing much aurora from this because the magnetic field is pointed the wrong way. It actually should help amateur radio uh, a bit, but it'll still be sporadic no matter what because everything's kind of turbulent, but it is moving very fast. So the solar wind is going to continue to keep us uh, busy and, and disturbed over the next three days at least. Things should then calm down right around the 18th, uh, but it might pick back up again as we get the wake of a solar storm that isn't going to hit Earth, but it's kind of going to sideswipe us. So we might see a little bit of activity starting again on the 19th. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, pretty much everything is in the green when it comes to flares. We don't really have any active regions on the Earth-facing disk right now that are any worry for M-class flares. However, we do have region 2554 that might give us something, maybe some C-class flares here and there before it rotates off uh, of the west limb, which will be in a few days. Meanwhile, we are still uh, experiencing some low solar flux, so it's kind of like marginal amateur radio, uh, and expect this condition to continue, but it might up a little bit as these regions on the east limb rotate further into view. We might actually get back into the green. So the phrase for this week in space weather is coronal hole, coronal hole, coronal hole. We have this massive hole that's passing through the Earth view right now, and it is sending us some fast wind, and it will continue to do so over the next few days. Now, it's not really going to help you aurora photographers too much because the fast wind that it's sending has the wrong magnetic field configuration, so probably no aurora. But it actually might help you amateur radio operators because the northward field actually, believe it or not, helps propagation. So let's cross our fingers and hope that it stays that way and doesn't give us too much turbulence in there because otherwise the bands are going to be good, bad, good, bad. Who, who knows what you're going to get. Anyway, we'll keep our fingers crossed on that and uh, enjoy what good band work you might get. And then, of course, we've got the new active regions rotating onto the east limb and that might actually up the solar flux to improve the conditions even more. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.